Welcome to my third E107 tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get your own own themes um, and apply them to your site. Now I know this isn't the first thing on the list, but I find it's one of the most vital. If you start working with the uh, standard theme, when you upload your own theme, then um, thing uh, items on your site can move about. Therefore, then you have to customize your site again. So I find if you get your theme set in place first, then start sorting out all of your um, menus for your site. So to upload a theme, you first need to decide what theme you're going to want and download it. So there's a few websites that I know of that you can get E107 themes from. I'll put a couple of links in the description. Um, I've decided that this one looks quite good, so I want to upload it to my site and have a look. So I downloaded it. Close that. I downloaded it, and it's to my desktop. It's in. It's in here. Right, and it's this one I've downloaded. Now I could unzip it here, or I could um, put it onto my um, website and then unzip it from there. Alternatively, I can upload it through my fo uh, theme manager. By simply clicking browse and then finding the theme that I want. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to my hosting control panel and I'm going to unlock my FTP. Now, this enables me to upload files using FileZilla or another FTP program. So, I'm going to log in using my site details. Go to public HTML and themes. Now I need to. Well, I'm going to. I don't need to. I could use my file manager to do so, but it's only a little file, so I'm going to extract it on my computer and then upload this folder. I don't want to upload it from that folder because it's got another folder inside, so the directory will only read this folder and therefore therefore won't display the theme properly you need to upload the folder that has just the one level that has all the fi um, files and folders in so I'm going to refresh my screen on FileZilla and it's that one I want to upload now make sure when you drop it across don't drop it into another folder drop it straight into the directory I'll put a link into the description for f uh, somewhere you can download FileZilla so once this is done, any time now, go back to my admin section. Now to get it to appear, I have to go back into Theme Manager and scroll down and look for it. So there it is. So I want to preview theme. Okay, looks pretty neat, and it looks like that's something I'd want to use for my site. So I'm going to go here and return to theme manager now I want to apply that as my site theme so if I click apply as site theme now there's this option here now preload theme images on or off if it's on it simply um, loads a the theme before um, other content on your site I find it's better to leave it on. It slows the site down slightly, but I find it's best to have your site looking good um, and then have the content loading afterwards. So once you select on, save options. Now if I leave admin, this will be the theme that I always have now on my um, on my site, unless I wish to change it. To do so, I can just go back into my admin area, back into theme manager, and reselect the theme or upload another. Um, this might not be the theme I stick with, I might look for another one. Because um, there's certain things that people like. There's um, only two columns on this. There are some themes that have a third column, that have full width of the page. Um, it depends what you want to use your site for. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any questions, send me a message or leave a comment. Um, rate and subscribe.